doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You are blessed son. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. The Bible wants us to produce results in our lives. John 15 verse 8, Jesus is speaking. Herein is our Father glorified when ye bear much fruit. He says, by so doing, you will prove that you are my disciples. When he saw the tree that had leaves but no fig, the Bible said in that scripture that the figs grow together with the leaves. But this time around it had leaves and no figs and it cost it he said that no man will eat from you thereof hallelujah so god desires and, and it's important please listen very carefully we must never allow ourselves to be so used to suffering to be so used to pain now whether we suffer or not it should never interrupt our commitment and our love for god however god's design is not to serve him in suffering god's design is not to serve him in failure and defeat that is why when we serve him under that condition it means a lot because we were not designed that way are we together so we must continually contend to see the reality of the victory that is in Christ fully manifest in our lives. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit put something in my heart to just share with us and I want us to please pay attention. I have found out that I wrote something down here that I want to just quote and then I'll just discuss a few minutes and then we'll pray. Living in victory requires thinking victorious thoughts. Please understand this, that there is a relationship between the victory that happens in a man's life and the quality of your thoughts and your understanding. Thinking like Christ, we call it. It is not enough to believe God for miracles. It is not enough to believe God for signs, for wonders. It is not enough to believe God to lift people out of burdens and yokes. Many believers do not pay attention to the quality of their thoughts, their understanding, and how it partners with darkness or partners with the Holy Spirit in establishing their victory. I wrote this down and I want you to listen very carefully. Every challenge in this life has a mindset support system every challenge in this life has a mindset support system that means it has a thinking system that supports the arrival or the continuity of that challenge every challenge at all you will ever face in life has a mindset support system that means it cannot continue until there is a thinking that supports the activity of that spirit every challenge in life has a mindset support system that's a thinking system that is that supports the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem 
every victory in Christ also in this kingdom has a mindset support system please understand this that both the tragedies that we experience in our lives and the victory that we receive as wrought by Christ require a mindset support system the theology of victory is that all victorious living starts from the realm of the spirit routed in Christ but then it will pass through the gateway of our thinking to find expression in the physical world this is very important nothing remains in a believer's life indefinitely until there is a mindset support system that allows it please listen to what i tell you whether it is poverty whether it is failure now it may not be caused by a mindset it may be an attack but the attack is at the mercy of the mindset support system a thinking system that will partner with darkness to keep that person indefinitely in that situation that means total victory is not just in praying for the sick it's not just in giving money listen it's not just in even getting people saved or born again total victory is when you allow the entire tripartite dimensions of a man to experience this victory number one that man must be in contact with the christ he's the basis of all victory are we together now number two the superior information that is based on scripture must be allowed to permeate that person's thinking let me show you a scripture that will bless you philippians chapter 4 and verse 8 paul is teaching the church in philippi and here's what he has to say finally brethren so he's talking to brethren those who are of the fold he says whatsoever things are true everybody say truth whatsoever things are honest say honesty whatsoever things are just say justice whatsoever things are pure say purity whatsoever things are lovely say love whatsoever things are of good report it says if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things you are given the boundary as a believer to guard your mind that means that you have a responsibility to protect your mind to not vacillate indefinitely it is your responsibility now watch this satan is master of the flesh realm look up please the realm of the senses and the realm of the flesh is the domain of satan the flesh is generally defined number one as a nature and then number two a way of thinking that is alienated from the life and the character of the christ so when the bible talks of the flesh number one it means the nature of the fallen man but number two it means a system of thinking a theology of understanding that is not consistent with the character of the christ and the bible says to guard our minds very diligently please listen to me you will strangle any problem to death when it does not find a mind support system any challenge whatsoever is already on its way to expiry when your mind does not support its continuity whether it is poverty whether it is an attack whether it is a cause whatsoever it is so satan maintains continuity of darkness by number one allowing the spirit influences to manipulate the sense realm the things you see the things you hear are we together all of these sense realms they begin to create aberrated views they may be real from the third dimensional realm but the bible says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen you can look at the things that are unseen why because the things that are seen are temporal the word temporal means subject to change there are conditions that can allow that thing change there is no end to the trouble that will come to a believer's life who does not construct his thoughts and his understanding to reflect christ any problem listen let me tell you this now please don't feel insulted we have medical people here and i learned that the way what we call hiv are we together the virus the deadly virus I, and i was told one time by a doctor he was telling me how it works he told me hiv itself is not a sickness 
are we together hiv is a state is a medical condition a biological condition that is aimed at weakening are we together now the strength the support system so it kills the support system of the body down not just the white blood cells it it shuts down everything that has the fortitude of creating strength and defense in the body so that any sickness even if it's malaria can kill you this is how a mindset is a mindset works like hiv a mindset is a universal invitation for any trouble to be to part that means it is a ready participant any tragedy you are welcome the thing that i feared most have come upon me job said please listen so satan uses fear number one satan uses the negative testimonies of others who are like you you are in a situation with another person and he says you see how my life is how is your own experience and while you are standing in faith you look at him and you say we are the same we are age mates the same region and so i should not act stupid and you begin to dance to the music of the flesh the moment you allow your thinking to go outside the boundary the provisions allocated by the word of god just know that you are already in partnership it's another kind of koinonia too the moment your mind is thinking wrong you just started a service but that service now is not under the influence of the holy spirit it's a partnership with any kind of tragedy that will eventually find finally brethren in addition to all that i have told you in addition to the systems that guarantee victory in the kingdom they are all nonsense if you ignore this whatsoever things are true and now you see i've taught you this again and again we live in a society that is negative by default are we together you annoy people when you are happy you annoy people when you are joyful you sing a song of praise and everybody is frowning and say are you the only person in this world see so we are trained to be negative the moment you are negative you become sympathetic to humans apostle you are talking like this because you've not lost any loved one apostle in the last one month my life has gone haywire finance went down and everything went down the bible says rejoice in the lord always and again it is not an encouragement it's a warning it's a precaution no matter what happens guard certain things including your joy because joy is responsible for strength joy is responsible for harvest two things you need in your life when you lose harvest you lose strength and you lose the fortitude for harvest you are finished so we continue to embrace a negative disposition and let me tell you this every time you search for trouble and a reason to be angry in your life you will find it at whatever level even if you don't find it the devil will help you to sympathize for other people that have no business with you it is true that you can cry it is true that you can be in pain it's true that your humanity can relate to something that brings you pain but it's a choice you are going to have to choose that i got the boundaries of my mind please never forget this teaching that's why there are people no matter what kind of deliverance happens to them the devil is more than glad to leave them because he knows he will be back shortly it's like you take a little break in transmission mass communicators when they talk they say okay we now go on a little transmission that's what deliverance is for many people because the devil knows that inevitably there is a, a belief system that has become almost an eternal support system for him are we together it is the reason why there are dimensions of deliverance that are preached not conducted to preach deliverance to the captives do something to their belief systems so i've said that every challenge in life has a mindset or requires a mindset support system a thinking system that supports both the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem complaining a mindset murmuring a mindset being did you know there are people for instance come my dear watch this 
there are people that can stand god can do tatty things wonderful things and then just one challenge a headache trouble some challenge in the job place and they will act as if god never blessed them in this life let me tell you that kind of thinking you will gain a lot of acceptance but you will suffer indefinitely the choice is yours it's amazing how sometimes we complain as though god has never shown us his faithfulness we complain as if god has never given you a dream we complain as if god has never granted you favor we never we trivialize the salvation that we have we trivialize the good friends he's given us we trivialize access to truth even though you have not received the truth you have access to it already philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ jesus you must intentionally acknowledge every good thing apostle i have big head what about other part of your body have you celebrated god's faithfulness for it you, you see how negative we are apostle every month malaria typhoid they, we, won't, it, won't it kill me you see that's partnership and when you continue saying it you will invite a spirit that has no business coming to your domain remember the, the, i've taught you this the law of consistency the spirit will say someone is calling me and he will come and say what's going on here and your complaint continues to allow it tabernacle with you i will never say anything negative about myself let critics say it not you are we together mm. someone once told me and said apostle you love yourself i said what's the meaning of that of course i love myself why will i want somebody to love what i hate are we together you hate yourself and you want someone to love you That's why all this fantasy of hanging yourself writing a letter write no letter to nobody <laughs> oh i'm tired of this life and things are you know and you just hang yourself it's a foolish way of dying it's better to serve god and be tired or do some or serve society hang yourself and, and waste bodies are we together yes this is an admonishment we are going to pray this night is a very serious night so many of us continue to partner with demons remember i taught you what um apostle paul said he said the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith are we together and that they will give heed to seducing spirits not just demonic spirits seducing spirits and i've taught you that the character of seduction is that seduction cannot work until it finds something that you are vulnerable to if you are not hungry the seduction towards gluttony cannot work if you don't like women the seduction towards women cannot work if you don't like power the sedu so seduction studies you it studies your goals it studies your visions it studies your desires it studies your aspiration and it builds an attack based on that information that's how seduction works or if it does not find anything it studies what god is doing and creates a system there when seduction knows that isaac is coming to put hagar close by so that you now bring ishmael who will fight with isaac and punish the nations seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons are we together yes you must make up your mind that this life of refusing this life of seeing negative things let me tell you this world is whatever you say it is there are people right now their viewpoint of the world is a place of bomb blast boko haram 
wickedness, selfishness, and they are right. And it will become, because whatever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. Are we together? Yes. You call yourself things God did not call. And there are people, this world, no matter how negative it is, they choose to see what God is doing. They choose to see the God that lifts. They choose to see a destiny that is bright. They choose to see a life that insists until God is glorified. It will always be unto you according to your faith. Hallelujah. Most bitterness that happens in our world are as a result of people who feel miserable about themselves. And they are not satisfied being miserable alone. They will continue to make sure that others join them in feeling miserable. With all that is happening in the world, God is still on his throne. And there is joy unspeakable in heaven, full of glory. Jesus only wept on earth. He would not cry again. There is no reason for him to cry again. Are we together? So you must make up your mind. We are going to pray. Shortly people will be healed, be delivered. God is going to be lifting people. But let me tell you, these experiences will never last. In fact, for some it will never happen until you trust God today and say this negative, sadist, devilish, antichrist kind of partnership that I continue to provide with challenges in my life. There are people who look wrinkled. You almost think they are 50 until they tell you, I'm just 27. You say, it's a lie. Are you sick? No. But I say, the way the world is, who is fine? Don't talk like that. Please take seriously what I tell you. Your victory is not only tied to Christ alone. It's tied to your understanding. Your mind is very creative, but it's also obedient. In my world, I see victory. I really do. I really do. In my world, I see the life and the power of God. In my world, I see Christ glorified. In my world, I see lives being changed. In my world, I see the, the powers of darkness continually dislodged. In my life, I see longevity. Listen very carefully. In my life, I see prosperity. In my life, I see an opportunity to serve the purposes of God with my life forever. In my life, I see continuous triumph. I have taken out time by the word of God and by the spirit to make that understanding become a stronghold in my mind. Are we together? In my mind, I see power and anointing. Someone, someone once asked me and said, Apostle, is it that God tells you he's going to move in a meeting? What gives you confidence? And I said, God, me, and history. <laughs> history. History is the basis for mastery. I don't try to have faith in God when he will move. We've left that level. I know. I trust him. It's a realm of koinonia, oneness, certainty. Certainty. Let me show you something. Luke chapter 1. Please give it to us. Luke chapter 1. We'll read the first three or four verses. Look up, please. For as much as many have taken in hand to set in order the declaration of those things which are mostly secured, believe, are most surely believed among us. Verse 2. Even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses, listen, and ministers of the word. Verse 3. It seemed good having had what perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus. What is the purpose? Verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. They are not cunningly vice fables. The goal of writing this to you is that I was an eyewitness to these things. And I want to write to you so that I solidify and clean up any gray areas that might make you doubt the certainty of what you have received. This is Dr. Luke writing to Theophilus. 
and telling him what is going on that means so that when you stand to declare a thing you are not hoping in the secret you are right the certainty of these things when you say god lifts and god can change lives as a preacher you are you are a funny preacher if you don't believe it how then does the power flow power does not just flow through your hands it flows through your understanding It's very important you, you know this. Are you getting what I'm saying? The certainty of those things. So you must walk on your mind. Philippians chapter 2, same Philippians. Notice that Paul, Paul seemed to drum it in this church in Philippi, this issue of mindset. Chapter 2 and verse 5, he now encourages the saints. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He's teaching here that for you to establish victory in your life you must allow the mind to be in you there was an understanding that jesus had there was a belief system that jesus had any trouble is frustrated when your mind does not partner with it every victory that comes from christ is also frustrated when you do not have a mindset requirement poverty depends on a mindset to stay infirmity depends on a mindset to stay causes and yokes and all kinds of things depend on a mindset to stay i think it was a preacher one time i don't know where i heard this um but there was a preacher one time who um spoke about is it the 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 elephant that is used in a circus how that they would chain the elephant or something like that and then it was used to a rope being tied and it was limited and that because of the it, it was already used to it one time they even removed the rope and the elephant would not go past that because it, the rope has been tied in his mind the worst way to bind people is to bind them in their minds when i bind you in your mind i can lose your hands you are in a bigger prison are we together so you must learn to stand in faith with god and believe with him some of you may have never received properly the miracle service because you are hoping that you will come and watch others get blessed would you leave such a distance to just come and clap for others there is a level of insistence the woman with the issue of blood said if i may but touch the hem of his garment she kept rehearsing before the arrival of jesus blind Bartimaeus said all of you have eyes i have an eye too but i can't see and if jesus is passing around let me just hear the sound of jesus and i will cry thou son of david have mercy on me there is a level of insistence that will force darkness to go are we together tonight so i want you to believe listen let me tell you this it is powerful when the power of god flows in and to and through a mindset that has been so constructed you will see the potentials of the life of god we have many destructive belief systems that continue to short circuit the power of god you can pray for a lady like this for instance in the name of jesus may god give you a great life partner but she already has a destructive mindset that will never even allow the life partner see her her mindset has become darkness a depraved selfish unspiritual mind full of low esteem which god's son will see that kind of that kind of um, scenario and be glad to come and marry and there are men with self-centered self-destructive attitudes so listen you have a responsibility and this is the part of the gospel that i think we must balance in church the gospel that continues to say god is exclusively responsible he is responsible for birthing the victory but you are responsible for partnering for the transfer and the manifestation to happen in your life it is true and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped the vessel in this case can be your mindset the vessel in this case can be your understanding is god speaking to us tonight someone can be here and you can make up your mind 
and say lord from january till october i thank you but i've not seen the prophetic word you've given me i'm insisting that this night is not only my night of reception it's my night of recovery and that by next miracle service i'm only coming to testify and clap for others i i name today as the day of my salvation hallelujah yes god is able the bible says it now unto him ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think not ask or sing ask or think and then it says according to the power not lives in him the power allowed to walk in us the power allowed to walk in us god's power is like a dam the one allowed to walk in you is like the the opening of the tap you can open a tap so small that it brings water drop by drop you have short-circuited the potential of the dam the dam is misrepresented by the allowance that the tap gives are we together so god wants to bring us to a point where he will move us into dimensions of grace dimensions of victory now thanks be to god now thanks be to god now thanks be to god what does it take for god to change a family listen let me tell you this look up don't get used to pain and don't get used to failure continue to insist until your life reflects christ this is this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see insistence lord it is not your will for this family to be in poverty begging from hand to mouth anointed but begging anointed but begging anointed but begging every good thing that happens in the family you receive it with fear because you know it will not last and you are right it will not last because it was only received momentarily it was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it whatever your mind holds is yours forever truly whatever your mind holds is yours if your mind holds trouble is truly yours if your mind holds victory it is yours are we together so you must insist this night there are all kinds of things god wants to do listen let me tell you this very quickly in a miracle service god does many things a miracle service is not just a healing service a miracle service is a service that allows for the power of god to birth and sustain supernatural solutions everybody say supernatural solutions solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men it truly is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking can god change my life in one day can god change my life in two days can god turn my family before november god are we together are you guys done have you fixed it it's not working okay so please let's work on it as fast as we can make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of god make it a project it doesn't matter where you are now make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of god as at the time you are speaking you may not have where to live as at the time you are speaking there's no food even at home now to eat don't worry stand in faith don't fake anything there's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real you've heard me say there is no point faking anointing there is no point faking power in ministry you can stand and say lord as it is right now my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is but lord let something from heaven come upon my church and i stand in faith and i believe with you 
everybody you pray for is not healed everybody you speak over is not changed but no problem you stand and look at your siblings and nobody in that house looks like the future everybody looks like the past stand in faith i refuse to give my the, my mindset as a donation everybody in your family is not married everybody in your family has no children don't partner with the devil they have all donated their mindsets be the last key that will refuse satan and say no way if god is finding hope in this family let my mindset be the gateway that allows god to come in please hear what i tell you not elder sister no child this one no child you two you have been married how long say two and a half years say all of us are the same you have you are the last card that god is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come and now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset if everybody in your family is failing you can stand and say lord find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaves and two fish you have to give god something the five loaves will allow other loaves come hallelujah i never think failure i truly mean it i'm not just talking i never think defeat i believe i'm victorious i live in the consciousness of the jealousy of god over my life it's true i have loved thee with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness it's not just scripture to me it is life it is god revealing his intent to me this ministry will never go down it will continue to be from glory to glory it is true no 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 I, i'm being as honest and modest with you as as possible because retrogression has an explanation you can explain why things deplete you can explain why things retrogress and you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens hallelujah you are here tonight in this place in the presence of god you are here tonight many of you have traveled from several nations some of you have traveled from different places to come please hear me my brothers and my sisters the first miracle that god is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil we call all kinds of nonsense hakanea laashiria does it look like god if you were god is that how you will walk are we together now you must insist and say no this is not the character of god this is not the best of god god cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth and the only employed person in that family is earning fifteen thousand. god is not wicked something is wrong the moment you call darkness darkness then light can fight it when it has to do with dealing with issues don't be ashamed don't be afraid to stand on god's side are we together so a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of god's power to find expression some of you are here trusting god to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all but do you believe do you agree with god apostle i'm ss this thing will never change it will be unto you according to your faith apostle i know i'm just here no problem they will lay hands on me but that that persuasion is not yet there apostle i believe god will prosper me but in your mind you are looking at that class you are looking at um the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year and you say it has finished no apostle there have been too much delay in my life by now i should be at this level at this level but restoration is possible let your mind open that door see when you know who god is you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life because the bible says for we know the rest don't know but we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by god in christ we know that in a believer's life there is nothing that is really a disadvantage it's true if you were employed as a graduate in 2000 
by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead is finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move god if it's must you move this way and god says i want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say lord i'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but el shaddai where are you answer my family that is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream someone will call you and say the lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family you say please tell the fcc before you talk to me Let, let's just be sure you are genuine and they say god instructed me and i'm obedient then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie pain can make you think everyone is lying did god really step in like that did god really anoint you like that hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of god is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of god is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by god no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of god says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if god gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together god calculates your salary like arias and brings it through favor in one transfer god shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent attending church serving in the house of god there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now but because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were working many things just went down in your life and because of that watch this because of that you got grounded and could not know god fast and god can lead you to an uncommon mentorship an uncommon anointing in six months you will receive a grace that is 15 years old <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> jacob collected esau's birthright he didn't know that esau was supposed to suffer seven years when he collected his birthright esau's own plus his own he served 14 years it's not about exchanging of women it's destiny playing out their family had delay i hope you know from abraham it was a challenge so both of the sons individually whether they was collecting birthright or not they would have paid their seven years watch this but jacob collected Esau. it only played out using women but it still played out that means you can collect someone's speed too you see that it's true sit down please sit down you can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true 
find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what god wants to do in your life when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we're going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance 
is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited through a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you traveled from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week 
a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think it's the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation To know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break a ticket to Sheila Qatar restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. A Paris Kebarashanda la Katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, Shamana Katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence. Of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three I break those chains now be free now from delay be free now 
Be free now. Be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it. I will not just perform it. I will give speed to my word. The word is quick and powerful. I declare again, any family here, any individual under the yoke of delay, I speak to you by the spirit. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. Broken by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Please listen. I have prayed this prayer. And for those of you who have missed it in time past. May God grant you the grace to receive it now. Listen. Truly speaking. There is a grace for speed. Please hear me. A man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now. And that anointing is coming on people. As usual, you'll find people running by the Spirit. But I need to release that anointing. Father, I stand under heaven in this miracle service. There are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family. That dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year. I declare right now, let it come upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Speed. Parush Kabarakata. Speed. Career speed. I give speed to your life. Speed to ministry. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Speed. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy. Please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night, things will change in your life. She's your mother. Help that woman, please. I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river. And I'm bringing something out. And the Lord says it's the destiny of this family. In the name of Jesus. That's the daughter. I command by the spirit. Every planting that is not of the Lord. I overturn and I uproot now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name, Naomi. We have to hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Naomi. Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? UP. From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God. And I decree and declare. Like the Hebrew women you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say. Baby is preached. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. 
in Jesus name let me pray are you married you are backing a baby where is the baby I'm looking at you in a vision that's why I'm saying how can this you know I'm saying you came to koinonia you are backing a baby outside this is the vision I'm you are not getting what I'm saying is this you were backing this baby when I mentioned your case huh? were you backing a baby that's why I'm saying are you married because you look too small to be a married woman this is the real person I want to pray for bring this little baby God is I don't know whose child is this your child but God this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God she looks like a little girl in the name of Jesus what's her name Nicole she may not know what we are doing but we stand in the presence of the people of God we anoint this lady may she become a Deborah to her generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my dear let me pray for you where are you from Kogi State I want to pray for you huh. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Shamala Sakatabarikatosh. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young, but you are going to be a mother to many. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come my dear. The grace that will want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are. But in Jesus name. There is a, like, like, a, like an, almost like an evil anointing. That makes only married people to look for you. In the name of Jesus. By the God of heaven. I lift that negative thing off your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I hear the name Magdalene. I don't know if Magdalene, I want to pray very quickly. We have to pray for the sick. You are the covenant keeping God. as you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady 
I'm seeing this lady, but all I'm seeing is snakes completely. I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister, your name is Magdalene. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach shame and reproach shame and reproach please stand up i speak to you by the god of heaven the month of november a big miracle is coming to your life a big miracle i lay my hands upon you and i declare in the name of jesus be free right now why is this girl here this magdalene come my dear i pray for you place your hand on your head I declare, oh God, let this chain be taken now. I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head. Be removed now. Be removed. This, like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity. I remove it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody lay your hands on her. So anybody just touch her. Release her now. By the spirit of God. There's no place for you. Take everything that belongs to her. Restore it and go. Now. Now please listen. I want to minister deliverance. Please believe it. You may not know. The woman from Kenya. Come. It's time for God to change your life. Please stand up. When did you come here? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday, yes. you came here. God is about to turn your life around. Amen. Glory. You are still coming, and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Madam, what do you do? Madam, what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi. Yes. In, in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you in your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not. You have a political destiny. As you are like this, looking at me. You have a political destiny in Kenya. And God, by his spirit, is going to make this happen. But another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life. You are a woman that loves God. There is, is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace. But you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women. Notice this grace. God is going to bring this grace upon you. God, I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation. There is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build. I'm seeing foodstuff. And I'm seeing different things. First, it will have to do with young girls, people who have been abused and so on. But I see it not only that, I see women too. Women. God is going to increase your influence. I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it. Go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go with this anointing. Go and prosper. May the Lord multiply your political career. And may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An angel of the Lord is standing here. Someone will shout here under a strong anointing. I just saw that grace. I don't know. First, I think until the shout happens, I know why God, just from here right to the back, there is an anointing. I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here. Now, listen, whether you know it or not, if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ, it's about to give way right now. 
Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online, I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. I want to pray for you. I know you've shouted in other months, but great deliverance, great deliverance is about to come your way. Father, I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ, that is sitting on the destinies of men and women, manipulating their results, I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun, the one that rides upon the wind, and I declare, let there be deliverance. At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Please bring them out. Be free now. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. All the extension online. I declare, be free now from ancestry be free from foundation be free from witchcraft bring them out operations of darkness i'm seeing a womb like the drawing of a woman's womb and i'm seeing it close it doesn't just mean physical barrenness it means a spirit that is closing the door of results. Many people cannot get results. But right now that door is about to open. And I stand by the God of heaven. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Everyone's destiny that has been closed. So that it will not find manifestation. At the count of three. Let it be open. One. Two. Three. Be open now. 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 Be open now.
I'm seeing the Lord is placing, listen please, the Lord is placing a very strange grace for finances. Listen to me. Please, I want you to believe it. There is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people. I'm not asking you what you are doing. I'm not asking you what you know. I'm telling you what God is doing. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, Father, the men and women that must enter into this dimension, as you are showing me at the count of three, may that grace rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. A strength grace for abundance. Receive supply from heaven. Let things walk in a way that will surprise you. I command things to walk in a way that will marvel you. mighty God a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, glorify yourself. Change everything that needs to be changed. Many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions. I want you to believe it. I will pray not everywhere, but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit. Hali Shalatos, Pragados, Krekete Baratushla. I shift you in the Spirit. Every limitation that does not name the name of Christ. I'm praying mantles, anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now. Let that presence of God shift you to dimension. In the name of Jesus. Dimension. I'm seeing a chain around here. I break that chain now. I'm seeing a chain around here. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Chains be broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna stay. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. From everything that is not of God. Be free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush ali katosh. Embreke teke teke te. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. By the Spirit of the Living God. I break it now. Mama, I break it now. I break it now. Sensing an 
an evil spirit just around here i come against you now i take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now overflow one lift your voice and pray in the spirit now listen please be your brother's keeper you don't have to touch me please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself but as i pass here anything that is not of god is about to give way right now thank you jesus go now let it go now let it go now let it go now all times i come against you now in Release them now, release them now, release them now, release them now. I'm still what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Harusa Sikete, be free now, be free now, be free now, be free now. The spirit of delay right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be broken now, be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life, in the name of Jesus. Now watch this, listen, hold on please, hold on please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca, they call you Becky. Rebecca, just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus, I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku A L something K U. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region. I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them, please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus, hold on please. Right here, there is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Parus kabadu sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay. I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven. Right now, let deliverance come now. Let it come now. I'm still moving. The hand of God is coming on people right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus, right here, financial stagnation comes to an end. An anointing is coming on someone for your family. Financial stagnation. Let it be over now. My dear, be free now. Out! Now! Someone here, the power of God is coming on that person. Be free now! Free! from everything that is not of God. New dimension. New dimension. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on please. I held someone's hand now. Holding a photo of a sick patient. 
Where is she? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus, be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim, may the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come God will give you your own work. Now God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You live now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress. In the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions. Visions. God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions. In the name of Jesus. This is very strange what I'm seeing. Except that I saw it, I will not say it. Stop running away from the call. You are a man of God's wife. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense. Stop running from the call. You are the wife of a man of God, a minister of the gospel. The Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray just one prayer point. The Lord is asking me, immediately we do that, we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request. Where is that young lady that came out with one mama while I was praying for her? There's a young lady that was wearing glasses. I don't, if, if you are here, you are the one. What do you do? You are going to be very wealthy. Come. Are you a lawyer? Huh? This is your mother? Where are you coming from, madam? Okay, you are the reverse woman. This lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy. Because I'm seeing you a lawyer. And you are going to, you, I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize, but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people. This is a lot of business people. Signing contracts, helping people to process a lot of things. Millions, huh? That's what? That's where she is right now. Doing some things abroad. She's what? That's what she's doing right now, where she works. That's what she's doing now. Right now, where she works. Because I'm seeing God will just cause them to like her. 
it's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man there are people who are out to genuinely bless yes, sir. and I pray for your daughter and I connect her by the spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. she will find these people Amen. and in the name of Jesus she will shift her to another dimension Amen. mama God is saying I should tell you forgive does it make sense to you my husband also is a lawyer, but your husband is a lawyer. Yes, yes. What was the issue? Nothing is happening. Don't worry, ma. Do you know why you fell under the anointing? You fell on behalf of all the troubles in your. It wasn't just your personal falling alone. There are times that you fall representing all of these troubles because this is not what I'm even saying. God is saying I should tell you to forgive forgiveness now it doesn't make sense and god has not given me an interpretation but let me tell you this you see look up the average person seated here has been hurt by someone whether friends are we together uncles relatives people you trusted and they betrayed you let me tell you something about unforgiveness unforgiveness is a terrible spirit is one of the master secrets to delay unforgiveness it will keep you in one place forever you are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of Jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of Jesus forgive in the name of Jesus forgive I also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that god will do in the life of this man let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the lord i decree it and i establish it in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman here we are going to pray goodness you see how time just runs there's a gentleman here you are a member of mountain of fire where are you mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right MFM my friend you are serious you come from where MFM Kano. MFM Kano. How about yes, you? Calabar. MFM Calabar. How about you? Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray. I'm not saying if you are from MFM, just come out like that. There are particular people. It doesn't matter what denomination you are from. Once you are here, huh? this is a universal, this is a master key. It will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of God is doing. But I want to pray for you. My friend, I, I'm going. I'm first going to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from Akwai Bomb State. There is serious witchcraft sitting on your destiny. Yes, I hope sir. you are not embarrassed. Yes, sir. Yes, huh? sir. 
you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting huh? sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what I tell you I'm going to pray for you if I don't pray for you I'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until he starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God this brother you see is very serious with God huh? very serious with God you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name huh? Anthony Tony in the name of Jesus everything that represents witchcraft i join my faith with that of your father and your leader dr daniel odikoya and i decree in the name of jesus be free now i decree by the power of the holy spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh. I'm not saying I'm not on employment. I'm talking to these guys. That I, of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? Kaduna State Civil Service. The Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you. Do I know you applied for a job? Stand up. Uh, prophecy is powerful. In a moment, God can just change things like that. My dear, let me tell you this. It's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone. Huh? God is going to give you unusual influence. It will marvel you. Amen. Are we together now? Hold my hands. You believe what I'm telling you? Yes. Father, confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady. Let that rejected stone... In the name of Jesus, become the chief cornerstone. Receive of that grace. In the name of Jesus, I speak it so. I make it so. I establish it by the power of prophecy. Let me pray for you. Gentlemen, I don't know if it's you or someone related to you, but there's someone God is giving a job. Someone looking for a job. But I want to pray for you. Father, you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life let it give way now in the name of Jesus let it give way now even by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is showing me a lady I'm not going to ask you to come God bless you but I'm lifting up my hand I'm seeing you know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before the remove that thing from her face this is what i'm seeing but that one is not pride of wedding this is evil covering your entire a human being with almost no head huh? and the lord is saying i should pray that that veil be torn i don't know who that person is but right now the power of god is going there there, there are many of you i perceive in the name of jesus that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the god of heaven and in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I declare that fail torn into pieces now. Torn into pieces now. Inside, outside, online. Torn into pieces now. The last case I attend to and then we'll begin to pray for the sick. Nothing ever lasts in your hand. This is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing, many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two, three months, for reasons you cannot explain, you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years. As it comes, you will see it. Sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream. You may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you. This is what I'm seeing. The moment that thing happens, it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down. But I'm praying right now. 
in the name of Jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the Christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty I declare by the Spirit of God be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what i'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things i'm not saying to run consciously i'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of god order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you. My soul longs and even thirsts for you. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God. For the living God. Incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face I'm burning longing for you I need you I need you I need you I need help you. me nothing no place no one else will do I need you I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit I shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down I take authority over it in the name of Jesus go forward now I release your families to go forward now in the name of Jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned 
you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow two b then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we're going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you're yet to write your prayer request per adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online I believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done will pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand and righteousness Lord you reign King of the You are the ancient of days Lord you reign Help me We cry holy Holy Jesus God Let your hallelujah praise the lord thank god we have some hands tonight um pastor jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three since there will be several people there overflow three they'll be ministering to overflow three benga will go to overflow one promise overflow one two um kenny overflow two two a now uh, two a or two b praise the lord isaac overflow to be praise the lord ima overflow overflow what now what is left huh overflow the last overflow whether overflow four okay no overflow to be go to overflow four praise the lord it'll have to be a very quick walk because there are several people I'll minister to the people here praise the Lord now please listen please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and I want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we we'll pray and say be, if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick has, prom has promised okay 
Pastor Alpha, oh, uh, who is in overflow one? Only you, two of you. Okay, Pastor Alpha, join them in overflow three. Pastor Femi, uh huh, he, Pastor Femi should go to. Did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, overflow two. Two B, okay, with with Ima now. Two B or four. You are in two. Only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in overflow four. Overflow four. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your request, believing. The worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone and then we'll try to tie it up tonight but whilst you are sitting make sure you connect by faith you can involve your loved ones let them know that god is moving right now he's blessing people lord we give you all the praise let there be great miracles by the spirit of god in jesus name i pray praise the lord thank you for your patience please rise up on your feet if they are still praying for you where wherever whatever overflow don't worry just just hang on there please stretch your hands to this request as we pray i'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are yet to submit Shabarus kabarata shiketia, embrato zezi alagata. I like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Shabrato skaparus zedegetia, rakata baranda skete balakoto shiata, embrato skaparus shalakatos, rekete baruda shiata. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus hallelujah please agree with me in the name of jesus amen. louder amen in the name of jesus amen. father tonight we come to you the god that can answer prayers and lord i decree standing in the presence of your people thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations lord i decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the God of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow this request to be answered in the name of Jesus, we call on the Father of Spirits to touch them on that wise. And every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men, we 
break that hardness now father answer speedily lord answer speedily turn situations around every death sentence represented in this request we declare that death sentence is cancelled in the name of jesus and so father we give you praise because we declare by faith the very faith of the son of god that these requests are met in jesus name as i stand upon these requests i declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of jesus that which god has done now remains permanent in jesus name and i prophesy over you by the god of heaven the egyptians that you see today that pursued you from egypt to the red sea and beyond i declare by the spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in egypt if you go out of egypt no going back in the name of jesus between now and the next three weeks may the god of heaven in the name of jesus 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit i decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks
Madam, please come. Help me. Madam, come. For I bring you into a new season. And I cause a restoration unto you. Come, madam. The Lord says, I bring you into a new season. I cause a restoration. The power of God is upon you. By the Spirit, now take it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Causing you to walk in new realms of supernatural insight, even by the Spirit. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let me tell you, enough is enough. Whatever Satan has taken tonight, tonight I prophesy, even by the Spirit, that the Lord is returning a sevenfold resurrection. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing cancer right now. If you have any case of cancer, I don't care what kind of cancer, inside and outside, breast cancer, all kinds of cysts and growths, I'd like you to get set right now. I'm about to release the power of God. It will not, you will not recover. You will be instantly healed. I'd like you to get set. Get set right now. He said, for as I spoke, I declared as he spoke unto me, and there was a rattling sound. Right now, in the name of Jesus, cancer, inside and outside, go, go, go. Every trace of cancer, I command you to go. I see someone with a cancerous problem with your bone or something. I command you, be healed now. Now, cancer, inside and outside, cancer, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command cancer be healed. Check yourself right now. Check yourself. Check yourself right now. Check yourself right now. Every trace of cancer be gone. Hallelujah. Every kind of blood infection. Every kind of blood infection, whether genotype, blood group, any sickness that is related to the blood, HIV, HIV, whatever it is, listen. I want you to know that the Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him, don't take her away, the power of God is still strong upon her, strong and strong upon her. It says, and has given him a name that is above every other name. At the mention of that name, he said, every knee, every knee shall bow of things in the heavens, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. He said, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. I want to challenge every blood condition. That's what I hear in my spirit. Right now by the spirit I command HIV Be healed in the name of Jesus Hepatitis Be healed now In the name of Jesus Hepatitis Be healed The power of God is touching hepatitis people Hepatitis By the spirit of God there is a strong influence of his spirit in this place. Hepatitis. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every genotype, S S A S, we change it now in the name of Jesus. 
Receive it now in the name of Jesus. We change it by the authority of the King in the name of Jesus. I hope you believe what is happening here. The Bible says, Blessed is she that believes. Let me tell you something. There is a kingdom that is superior to this one. There is a kingdom. There is a system. That's why we took our time to teach on the series of the kingdom. I'm standing not as Joshua Selman, but as touching the authority of the king and the kingdom I represent. He said, For I am a man under authority. And I say unto one, Go, and he goeth. And to another, Come, and he cometh. I stand under the authority of the king. And once again I declare, S-S-A-S, change hey. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Leukemia, I command to heal in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every sickle cell, A-A-A-S-S-S, go, go. There is an anointing in this place. Go. Whatever the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Many of you have been oppressed by demons in your sleep. Some of you hear voices. Oh, it's time for them to leave now. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There are people that have suffered from influences of demons. It's always my joy to cast out devils. He said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. There's someone coughing seriously outside. The power of God is coming upon you. Bring the person in from demonic influences. It's coughing seriously. Now I command... Every demon, every principality, every power, go, 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 be free. Every demonic manipulation, be free. I cast you out of her. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out inside and outside. Every demonic manifestation. Come out by the authority of the king. Be free. 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 Now. Be free. Now. Hallelujah. Be free, thou devil. Be free. Let God's people go. Be free. Be free. Be free. You cannot reign over her life. I see you in the spirit. Leave her now. You understand the authority. Leave her now. I see you in the spirit. Let her go. Now. In the name of Jesus. There's still one more person outside. I'm seeing in the spirit. There's still one more person outside. I'm seeing in the spirit. Every influence of Satan over your life is leaving. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There's someone outside. Please, those of you outside, lift up your hands. Satan, I command you, be gone from those outside. Now, in the name of Jesus. 
for there is one person I see in my spirit and the Lord brings you out by the instruction of the Holy Spirit we declare release of angels let that one person come forth now in the name of Jesus no demonic influence it shall not rain be free be free be free be free let the person come be free be free for you shall not have a place my stand as touching the king you will not hide in her you will not hide in her come out in the name of Jesus come out in the name of Jesus come out thou devil I challenge you as touching the authority of the king come out of her Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear my spirit destroy habits. God is going to break men free from habits right now. Paul said the things I would want to do, I do not find myself doing them. And the things that I do not want to do, I find myself doing them. He said, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? But he said, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. He said, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath set me free from the law of sin and death. Challenges, habits. The Bible says, sin then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. He said, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and that we run with perseverance the race that is set before us. So right now I pray that the power of the highest, Jesus the Christ himself, I command habits, every kind of habit, masturbation, drunkenness, all kinds of demonic habits, whatever does not represent the character of the kingdom. Go now, in the name of Jesus. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 I break you free, go, inside and outside, you are free, I break you free, worry and fear, go, 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 the Lord is touching people, worry and fear, go, Stephanie, where Stephanie come? I don't know what it is, but the Lord says I should set you free. And I set you free. There is an authority, and it's the authority of the king. You are free, totally free, totally free. In the name of the Lord Jesus, totally free. By the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Where are your sisters? Are they here? Hilda and the rest. This is not just you. Please, where are they? Bring them up. If you belong to her family, you are related. Are they here? Please come. I don't know what it is, but the Lord says to set them free. To set them free. To set them free. Please hold your hands together. I don't know what it is, but the Lord says, set them free. Set them free. And now in the name of Jesus, let the fire come upon you. Now, be free by the Spirit of God. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. You are free, totally free. Totally free. 
totally free by the spirit totally free by the spirit hallelujah Asa I don't know why God is doing this is your sister here and anyone related to you please come quickly we are hurrying up we have to be out of here as soon as possible that's why this meeting was put together to set men free God is emancipating people please hold your hands together for the Lord sets you free that's what I hear in my spirit the Lord sets you free I sense an anointing coming upon you and the Lord says set them free and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I set you free right now I set you free right now I declare by the power of the highest that you are free. Be free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free, I see like a box. Going round and round, both of you, I command, you are free now. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your son name is Ezekiel. Son name Ezekiel. Please listen attentively now as the Holy Spirit calls out people. Your son name is Ezekiel. Where is that person inside and outside? Your son name is Ezekiel. When you get the person, let them come. There is a word for them. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. I'm seeing something in someone's head. I don't know if it's a brain tumor or something. Do we have anyone here with something that has to do with I mean from the hospital. They've told you something. I don't know what it is, but I see a white substance in someone's I don't know what it is, an injury. Whatever it is, we have someone like that. Please come quickly. Sorry about the light, you'll be back in a minute. Above all, your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. Lord sets you free. You believe that? You believe that? This is not all. This is not all. The Lord is communicating to you. Please let's hurry up. There's no room to waste time. We have to be really, really fast about this. Hallelujah. As I pray for you, I want you to believe that the Lord will set you free. Are you listening to me? Believe that the Lord will set you free. Let me start with mommy. In the name of Jesus, I challenge whatever issue it is, be made whole now. In the name of Jesus, be made whole even by the Spirit. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Just look at me. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Come out of him now in the name of Jesus. Light is shining in the darkness. Come. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I command total, total wholeness to you. Receive it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it now. Perfection. I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man on a stretcher. Looks like um, he's a man from Benway State or so. On a stretcher, being sick. If that is a case that you relate with I like you can come as a man on a stretcher from Benway State is that correct oh, please can we have a mic hallelujah who is that to you just he's an elderly man in the village he's from Benway State yes, sir. Yes, sir. you've been trusting God for his healing yes, sir. and you've prayed about it again and again yes, the Lord brings healing to him right now yes, can you receive for him all right, lift up your hands. Lord, let it flow. Now, receive it to him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command perfection and wholeness even by the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Do we have any Agnes here? I'm hearing Agnes. Please, if we call your case, I'd like you to hurry up and, and let's save time. Hallelujah. Are you the only one? The only one bearing the name Agnes? Because I see more than one person in the vision that the Lord shows me. Agnes. Hallelujah. She's not the only one. The Lord is still telling me she's not the only one. Why are you staying back? Please, when we call the case, hurry up. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I should tell you, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He said, for behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. That's what God is saying. I should tell you, behold, I do a new thing. Especially over your family, the Lord is doing a new thing. Over their finances, they've gone through lots of challenges. Is, does that make sense to you, what I'm saying? Is that correct? Hallelujah. God is saying, I'm stepping in in a way that um, will cause many to wonder. And is bringing perfect restoration even by His Spirit. Hallelujah. Father, confirm your word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back. Um, your father is a your father is a businessman. I see him holding cartons. He does any business that relates to maybe packaging or goods. Someone here, your father is a businessman. I see a man holding a carton. I don't know what that means, but something that relates to that. Is there anyone? Please, very quickly, your father is in business. What does he do? Is the mic is down. Park. He sells motorbikes. How about you? He sells goods. He sells goods yes. in a carton. Yes. Sir. Did he lose anything? Yes, sir. he lost his company. He lost his company. Yes. The Lord says, "I should tell you that he is restoring, and he will overturn." Amen. Are you listening to me? The Lord says, I should tell you that he's restoring. He will overturn and he's going to restore. You believe that? I see him holding a carton. 
the Lord is going to restore even by his spirit. You believe that? You believe that both of you lift your hands even as you receive for your um, family members. Hold on. Look at me, my dear. Did your father pick up a quarrel with anyone? You may not know. But it's a serious... Um, I see that there's an issue between your father and someone. You received... Please, let the mic be on. Can technical people can hear? I just received a call today about uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. My 10 a.m. in the morning? Yes, my oh. mom called me. That's all, because my dad is going for a consultorship post. So that the young man walked up to him and I said, he's going to deal with him. That he's just looking at him. He doesn't know where to start with him. Yes, I, I, see, I see your father will quarrel with someone and I hear Conspiracy. Conspiracy. But you must also tell your father what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness. That's God's word for your father. And what communion has light got to do with darkness. For he that breaks the hedge, the serpent will strike. Tell your father. He must walk in total righteousness to see God's result. But Lord, we pray that you preserve the father. And for you, I command and I decree that the restoration is perfect and is permanent in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. I see God restoring um, a Kaduna family. You are from um, the southern part, Zango Kataf, specifically. Now, hold on. Don't just jump out because you're from there. There are many people, I believe, that are from here. Um, you are four in your family. That's what God shows me. You are four in your family. And um, I see that one of you in the family has had a, a recurrent disease or something like that. Please, who is that? If this fits the word for you, I'd like you to come out now. A family uh, from Kaduna. The Lord is giving. This is very specific. You can't guess if it's you. If it's not you, just sit back. Hallelujah. Four in your family. One is sick from Zangon Kataf. So, hallelujah. Do we have anyone like that? The Lord wants to minister to that family. You're the one. Please keep the mic on, technical. Let the mic remain on. His glory, she had to travel with her family. Oh, she had to travel, but, but that's, that's, that that's, that's, yes, I see that, um, okay, well, I'm aware that her dad is sick, and, um, but then God is bringing a restoration for the family. God is restoring, and, um, I see, I see like, um, an earthquake, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing right now an earthquake. You see that too? I wrote it in my book. Is yes. There? That's what I'm seeing. An earthquake and uh, a disaster. But the Lord averts it by his spirit. The Lord averts it by his spirit. Hallelujah. Can you stand in for her? Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that by the spirit and the authority of the king, standing in for her, we command that restoration through you to her right now. Receive it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Barista is not around. I wish he were around because there is a word that the Lord gives me for him. I hope that when we meet, we'll be able to communicate it to him. I see an elderly woman. Um, you are not among those in front here but you're an elderly woman you came you are the back um you've suffered you've had pains in your back serious back pain please who is that i'm seeing an elderly woman she suffered serious back pain and you've been saying lord i'm coming with an expectation oh yes he is ready and willing to heal for he is able more than able to accomplish Hallelujah. 
I'm hearing Rose. Is there any one of you who is Rose or you're related to anybody called Rose? Rose. Is there anyone? I'm hearing the name Rose. Rose. I don't know what God wants to do with the name Rose, but my mom is suffering from a back pain right now, and my elder sister's name is Rose. I didn't know there are so many people with the name Rose. The Lord just gave me the name Rose. I love the intelligence of the spirit. It is not by power, it's not by might, but by the spirit of God. All the ladies rose, please lift your hands. There will be the breath of the highest upon you. And it will set you on fire for the king. At the count of four, the power of God will come strong upon the ladies with the name Rose. One, two, three, four. The ladies with the name Rose. An impartation upon you, even by the Spirit. Strong impartation upon you. Strong impartation upon you. Even by the Spirit. For one of you, you are being healed of a menstrual crisis. It goes forever. Goes forever. Hallelujah. Back pain. My, my stomach is very hot. Yes, I was feeling it. But later on, I feel it very hot inside. Yes. Is the anointing of the Spirit upon you? Please hold my hands, madam. Jesus. Let the back pain go. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the back pain go. The power of God is coming strong upon you. Back pain. Just back here, not worse. Just hold my hands, madam. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I challenge that pain. Go right now in the name of Jesus. Be gone. The power of God is flowing through you. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Please help me pray for you. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. All the roads you can go back. Check yourselves. I see one of you being healed. Um, from something that has to do with your spine. One of you is healed. Back pain. The side to the back. By the, the back. Okay, by the side. The side and the back. Mommy, the power of God sets you free. Oh, because of your generosity, the power of God sets you free. In the name of Jesus, the power of God sets you free. Every pain, I command you to disappear right now. By the power that is in the name of Jesus, you are made whole right now in the name of Jesus. You are standing in for your mother. She has back pain. Where exactly? In the name of Jesus, I take authority over that back pain. Be made perfected right now in the name of Jesus. Perfection given by the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a heart condition. Um, someone has a problem with the heart condition. It's been long. It's been, you are aware of it. You've been told growing up a heart situation. Please, who is that? You came here full of expectation. It's time for the Lord to set you free. A heart condition. What's, what's the situation? Um, they call it... Um, it's been since 300 level first semester. Since 100 level, I've been having it. But then I can't remember. The anointing the of the Spirit is strong on you, yes, sir. 
<laughs> the power of God is so strong on you. You are standing on holy ground, and I know that there are angels all around. Hallelujah. The Lord is setting you free. What's it called again? Sorry. This, this, this. That's all right. Look at me. Just look at me. The Lord will set you free right now. You believe that? Please come. He'll touch you. It's not Joshua Selma. He'll touch you. Perfection by the Spirit, something perfection that has a vision. Go now, now I know Jesus Christ that be free by the power of the Holy Spirit. We also have a heart for you. Go, come out of heart, be free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've been suffering asthma, lay your hands on our chest for me. Asthma, go. Why are you not serious with the Lord? The Lord calls you by this meeting tonight into a place of intimacy. You cannot mix fresh water and salt water. It's time for you to go all out for God. You want me to pray for you? Yes, sir. That the Lord will put a hunger for his word in you? Yes, sir. I'd like to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray a hunger in him. Let an anointing come upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, set him on fire for you. You will never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. My uncle is flew to India for operation. Operation? Yeah, in his heart. And it's like they implanted a clock or so inside. It's always ticking when you're close to him. You hear it ticks. A clock? By the doctors? As in you hear the heart oh, it, ticking. It, yeah. Oh, a clock, a clock in his heart. Yeah. By who? That's not how God designed him. Um, okay. The Bible says, whatever has not been planted by my father will be uprooted. Lord, we take authority over every planting. We abolish it now by faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection for your own home. In the name of Jesus. Christ. The doctor could not predict what it was. Hold on. Sorry? The doctor could not predict what, the, what was exactly wrong with me, but he was like, it was asthma. Asthma because there was um, symptoms asthma. of asthma. But at the same time, he was confused if it was asthma or not. Doctors are wonderful people, but you see, there is only so much they can do, and it's not their fault. But look at me. Just shout Jesus once, as loud as you can. Jesus! <laughs> That's the name that is above every other name totally free by the spirit of God totally free by the spirit of God you are for heart condition no in case of my uncle your uncle what's wrong with him they say that an insect or a worm in his heart you see how wicked Satan is for, for many of you who just laugh and think Satan is your friend let me tell you something there is no goodness in him Satan is so wicked. How can an insect, or what do you call it, an insect, in your uncle's heart? What kind of thing is that? You believe he's going to be healed right now? You're standing in for him. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I command, lay your hands on your chest. Amen. See, the power of God is strong on you. See your hands. 
you're standing in for him just breathe in and out three times just do it breathe in and out the power of god comes on you in the name of the lord jesus christ my dear what's wrong asthma asthma you have asthma okay um we're going to pray for the asthmatic patient before i give the ministers a room to just minister and then we'll pray every one of you is going to be touched by the power of god tonight asthma but since you came out the lord responds to your faith um you're going to be healed right now and you check yourself okay and then please lay your hands on her chest if you will look at me open your eyes don't miss your miracle you don't need to meditate two of us should not pray just watch i'll do the prayer okay uh, look at me just breathe in and out just do what i'm telling you to do breathe in and out breathe in and out again do it one last time <laughs> you're free now in the name of the lord jesus christ totally free even by the spirit of god what do you have actually just remembered my cousin now your cousin yes sir. okay what's wrong with him she is uh suffered she has suffered uh of this heart disease for the past uh, three years now 33 years no three years oh three years she has been coming to shika all okay. the way from home okay and uh last year she had to travel to india, india. two times for, for surgery surgery okay but she went there and they couldn't discover exactly what was wrong with the heart then standing in for her. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, perfection over her heart right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, perfection by the Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you? Asthma. You have asthma. Okay, I'm going to pray for asthmatic people. You don't have to come out. But since how long has it been? Over one and a half years. When? Two years ago. Two years. How old are you now? You are 14. For the past 12 years, you've had asthma. So, two. Yeah. Oh, for the past two years, he's had asthma. Okay. As well, let me pray with you. You believe Jesus will heal you? You believe it? Lay one hand on your chest. If you will. Jesus, you are the healer. Perfection. Perfection. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection. Hallelujah. If you have asthma, lift your hands inside and outside. Asthma. If you are suffering from any kind of asthmatic condition, please lift your hands. I'll pray for you right now. Asthma. Asthma, it's time for you to receive. I hope you get serious with what we are doing. Asthma. I like all of you to say after me, Jesus, I receive. Say after me, Jesus, I receive. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I set you free from asthma right now. Be healed. Begin to breathe in and out. Test yourself. Check yourself right now asthma you are healed totally totally not a gradual recovery totally instant healing from asthma drop your hands down and check yourself hallelujah where's a jimmy come hallelujah um there's someone here you have an eye condition you're Igbo. i think your name is emeka emeka and wafo the eye condition it causes pain to go from here all the way the pain starts from here and it rises all the way to here please come out God wants to heal you my name is Emeka Emeka Wafo there's another person you have a kidney condition you have a kidney condition you used to have um, supernatural experiences at night like you see an angel they told you your kidney was damaged Yes, they told you your kidney was damaged and you don't know what to do about it. It's a critical condition. It's, it's almost like it's terminal. And you used to see an angel. And you see the angel holding, holding kidneys. God says I should give you. God says I should give you the kidney. I see a mother. Sorry, I see a grandmother. 
your daughter has fibroid and she has not been able to give birth because of that fibroid. She has diagnosed that the fibroid is occupying her womb. Please come out. God wants to heal you. A grandmother, your daughter has fibroid. She's married, but she has not had a child for a while. There's, I see like cobwebs in her womb. That's the reason why. Okay, you don't know it's fibroid, but she has not given birth for a while. Please, whoever that person is, please come out. And then, I don't know, God gave me a, a prophecy for China. China. I heard God say capital flight. I heard God say he is concerned for China. Capital flight is going to affect their currency. I don't know when it's going to be, but it's going to be serious. And I hear God say he's concerned for China. Those are then there are some people your ministerial calls. Your ministerial calls. Your ministerial calls. A prophetic call is upon you. I will allow those who operate in the prophetic to pray about it. But God wants to launch people into their ministerial calls. You will begin to experience serious angelic ministration. Serious angelic ministration. So God wants to launch you into that tonight. Emeka. Okay, you are the Emeka. What's wrong with you? Shortage of blood. Shortage of Blood. Of blood, yes. shortage of blood, and what else? Why, well, once I have shortage of blood, two will just come. What? When I have shortage of blood, two will just come. What's your son name? Wafo. Wafo, American Wafo. That's what I saw. That's what. Do I know you? No. I've been seeing it since morning. My brother dreamt about you, and he told me God was going to do that. When God said American Wafo, I said, Wow, that means you are evil. God said, No, it's American Wafo. Talk. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you set him free. I overhaul your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You are made whole by the power of God. You are made whole, you are made whole, you are made whole. You are made whole by the power of God. You are made whole in the name of Jesus. Free in Jesus' name. Amen. Then the grandmother that has a okema. They said it's toilet infection. Okay, okay. She, she, she has not given, given birth. I see it like cobwebs. At first I thought it was fibroid, but I just saw it like cobwebs, like a mess in her tummy. I see God putting... <laughs> Amen. Wow. Father, I thank you. Father, thank you. I see God putting twins. <laughs> I was afraid to say it, but I see God putting twins. Amen. When you see two fetus in a womb, that's twins, I mean. Yes. Amen. Amen. God Miracle gave babies. The names of the twins. What? God gave me the names of the twins. Oh, beautiful. Ah, if you are so this is. Father, we seal it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for those children who fulfill destiny. We set her free in the name of Jesus. Reconstructive surgery. We set her free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Enjoy the labor over your daughter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What are you standing here for? The eye. Okay. Father, set him free in Jesus' name. Set him free in Jesus' name. We bring you the kingdom of God in your life and your body. You are made whole in Jesus' name. That foul spirit, go. Life, come. Eyesight, whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then, fibroid. Thank you, Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Prophetic ministry. Don't please just pray for me. When the worship was on, the Lord, I saw an angel of the Lord releasing an anointing upon you, even concerning prayer and the prophetic. And the Lord said, He's going to speak through you. The Lord said, He's going to open your eyes and give you a see anointing again. Father, I thank you upon the life. Manasseh. Oh, yeah. I, there's a lady by the name Abigail. Can I have Abigail here? Abigail. 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 There is something that has to, Abigail. Abigail. Are you Abigail? 
Okay, come. I don't know who among you, but I know there is somebody among you that has, your family has a, a problem with debt. Amen. Your father is, is there's a work your father did somewhere, the money has been held, is not paid, and I had the Lord say, he's going to restore back the money. Amen. I, I don't know who among you has that, that has to do with debt. Amen. The Lord says he's going to pay it. And also you over there, you. Yeah. When we're praying, I see the Lord doing a deliverance in your life and your family come. I see the Lord doing a deliverance in your life, even breaking you away from the ignorances that the, some things have been stopping you from getting married. Hope you, hope you hear me. You prayed that very prayer before you came here. I want the Lord to encounter you. Father, thank you, Lord, in our life. And I command that every, every demonic activity against our life is broken in the name of Jesus. Then also, when we're praying, mommy, Mommy, I don't know whether that was connected to your daughter, but I saw an angel of the Lord doing a surgery in you. Huh? Yeah. I, I saw an angel of the Lord doing a surgery in you. Yeah. And he said it's going to I see the Lord taking away something, something from the body. And I also see the, saw the Lord doing a cleansing in the blood. Yeah. And the Lord said it's going to he's going to perfect that in your dream this night. Amen. Amen. I saw I saw the angel of the Lord doing a surgery Amen. in you. And the Lord Thank said, Jesus. And the Lord said, He's going to perfect it. Amen. You give me, let me, let me receive it Father, in Jesus' name. Pardon? I receive it in yeah. Jesus' Father, name. Father, we thank you, Lord. It's done in the name of Jesus. It's done in the name of Jesus. And also, Father, concerning the promotion in the family, concerning the promotion that I've been trusting you, Lord, Lord, the door is open in Jesus' Amen. name. The door is open. When I was praying there, the Lord showed me a vision again for the second time concerning uh, a prominent uh, businessman in the country by the name Dangote. I saw the angel of the Lord. Should I say it? Amen. <laughs> it's going down. Yeah, going down. And, and I, saw, I saw him directly connected to the present Islamic bank policy and I saw him doing a donation and that made the Lord the Lord is going down let me just summarize it's going down hallelujah okay so Janfa what did you see about them you can take it from there okay for that yeah, I see like three people standing behind you and there has been the voice of accusation saying you are guilty I see certain warfare that you have had to experience over the years challenges too that has affected your health recurrently over the years and God says he wants to bring deliverance to you today. God says he's not only touching mommy but he's bringing a total walk to your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release perfection to your bloodstream, to every fiber of your being. I command that you are healed and you are made perfect tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just a moment. While this is going on, if you've not written your prayer request, let's save time. Please very quickly, ushers, begin to Take the prayer request inside and outside. Now is the time. Your prayer requests. Please, if your friends and loved ones send them through SMS or something, you can just copy it. Let's have it quickly, quickly. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Jamfa. I heard the Lord give me the name Jimo, and I see that your mom has been having a particular sickness. An infirmity that she has carried for many years and has been a source of great concern to your family. The Lord gives me the name Jimo. Your mom has an ailment that she has carried for many years and has been a source of great concern to your family. I don't know where you are. Just lift up your hands and come. The Lord wants to bring healing. The Lord is giving the name Jimo. Jimo. Is Jimo in this place? Yes, one of our eyes is given Yes, Lord, I pray over Jimo in the name of Jesus. Command healing to his mom's sight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Healing perfection to her. What's okay? I know you, Jimo. What is it that's wrong with your mom? Nothing at all. Okay, that means you're not the one the Lord is speaking about. He's the one. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I should tell you that the work that you are doing right now, that you are not going to do it for a very long time. God says, shortly, 
He said the business and the things that he has been speaking to you about, he says shortly you will have to leave that job. For God says do not step out until he speaks to you at the appointed time. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes, I remember like two years ago, the Lord gave me a word for you on your birthday that he was taking you out of Zara to a new land and a strange land that you have never been before. God says this is a time that is going to multiply you in that land. God says he's ushering your ministry into a new season. And God says it is expected of a steward that he be found faithful. I see many coming to you and giving unto you. And God says he's setting you to father many, but he expects that you be found faithful. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mr. Yums, I see you standing in an office. I don't know what you were doing before you came back to school. But I see you now. God is showing me that as you leave this place, you're going to have your business. You're going to have to do with a place where you walk. I see the one-story building through the staircase. I see you walking around that office. Where you walk before coming to school, is this the description? Please talk to me. Come. Where you walked before coming back to school, is this the description of the place? Exactly. I don't even know where you, you, that was in Lagos or wherever, but this is what God is showing me. And God is saying, as you go back, I see increase coming. I see expansion coming. I see you going beyond that one office and taking the whole floor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Apostle Sai talking about earthquake. There's so much that the Lord gave me earlier hours of this morning that I wrote. And I saw like a mighty wind and I saw the ground open. And God told me that it's going to be one of the most devastating natural disasters that this generation has seen. And I see it coming in the next few months. I see it cutting across somewhere in North America and somewhere in Asia also. And the Lord shows me in a vision, I saw like a chart. Like a chart. And I saw like a price chart. And God was showing me that in the new year that we're about to enter there's going to be a sudden increase in price of goods and, and commodity in this country. There's going to be an unusual increase that we have not experienced in recent times. And it will run through the year. And, but God shows me the charts coming down again. As it rises to the peak, I see it coming down. So even though it's going to be a difficult time for many things are going to be expensive, but God promised that he will watch over his people. Hallelujah. Some of the prophecies that God is, is giving me, they may not sound conventional for this moment, but from the early part of this year, I gave a prophecy about the governor of Cardinal State and the governor of Plateau State. And in the vision that God showed me about the governor of Plateau State, God showed me and God said there was an attempt of assassination coming upon his life. And I didn't really understand. I thought that was just going to be physical. And then until recently, Apostle told me that he's been out of the country on a serious health challenge. And last night while I was praying, I saw like a spirit of death stood by his side. And God was asking that I pray and rebuke that spirit. I know that God is calling on the church to pray so that he will come back alive. We do not say these things. We are not political mouthpiece. We are just saying the things that the Lord is, is showing us to speak. And I see someone in this place somebody related to you like in your family somebody you lost somebody not to say the person died but the person got missing throughout this from the early part of this year i see that happen the person got missing a loved one a family member that you've been looking for particularly a lady where's that person just lift up your hands a lady it happened this year a lady related my dad's friend your dad's friend okay let me pray for you but the lord shows me a lady that has been missing from the early part of this year. And the Lord shows that this lady is going to come back. She's going to come back in the name of Jesus. We declare that wherever she is, we declare a release for her. I will command her to come back home in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see someone you have in your dream, you experience as though your head is shaved. In your dream, you see your head shaved. It's a lady and the Lord is telling me that it's a spell that the enemy is casting over you, even against marriage. 
Where are you? Just lift up your hands. I want to declare over you. Lord, I pray. I pray. I see in, in your dream, you see your head completely shaved. I declare that that spell is broken over your life. And I declare total liberty to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. For the people that God, that Apostle prayed for at the beginning, I saw something. God, God was setting you from mindsets. So your mindsets have been conditioned since you were born. All those ladies. And I said one of the characteristics of your mindset is that you have come to believe that a woman is supposed to be the breadwinner by default. That's what God was saying specifically. God says, I should tell you categorically that it was not so from the beginning. And God says, he's empowering you so that your reality will be different. And it's, they were not the only ones. God is releasing a grace upon all the ladies in this place who have been characterized that, by that mindset that a woman is supposed to be the breadwinner. And you are, you are prepared for it. You have actually made plans, strategies, business plans, business strategies. God says it wasn't so from the beginning and he's setting you free in the name of Jesus. Then there's a second group of people God is releasing upon you unusual grace for creativity. I've been sensing that since, since 3 o'clock. Unusual grace for creativity. What the Bible calls witty inventions. In fact, it's the spirit that was upon Bezalel. I see it in the IT, I see it in hospitality and catering, and I see it in the media. Unusual creativity. We would like to pray for you and lay hands on you and impart that grace to you. Then the last set of people, you've been having dreams for a series of days now, and you've been seeing eagles, eagles, eagles. You see mountains, you see eagles. You've been seeing it for a long time now. Mountains, eagles, mountains, eagles. Every time you see in the spirit, that's what you see. And there are other people who have been sensing in the spirit but have not been seeing what they sense. I would like to pray for those people also. If you come out, I'd just like to pray for all the people that are listed. Amen. So, those who belong to that category, quickly just come up this way. Wild Jigs ministers, go ahead, sir. Hallelujah. Um, please, if you identify with the name Lami. I heard the name Lami. If you identify with the name Lami, quickly come out, please. If you identify with the name, is that your name or your mother's name? Lami. If you identify hold with on. the name. Um, listen, hold on. I hope you are not just coming out because you want. We are going to pray. Soon we'll enter another session very quickly and then we'll pray for everybody, okay? We are just talking about those specifically um, that his case concerns. So please don't just feel emotional and come out, okay? All right, if you identify with the name Lamy, please just come this way. The name Lamy. Lamy, right? Okay, your younger sister. I actually have a word for um, Lamy. Praise God. Then, if you have, um, you're having pains here. It's actually pneumonia. Just on your right, your right side. Actually, have received um, healing for that person. If you are that person, quickly come out too. Then so on with. Presently, you're having... You're having pains on your thigh, right down your right thigh. Even as you were standing worshiping, you had pains on your right thigh. Okay, mommy, that's you. Okay, on your right thigh. Actually, um, received that. The people who migrate, I may not be able to call you out. I know Jangfa mentioned the case of um, people that were losing their hair. Just while lazy, um, lady raised up her hand. They actually more than that. Because I actually saw a flash of it. Hallelujah. I saw a flash of it. So, Lami, where's Lami? Okay. Okay, Lami, um, what I received for you, the Lord said you should share the testimony. Do you understand? The Lord said you should share the testimony. So I believe the Lord wants to, the Lord is releasing something upon you. He wants to bless you, okay, with something that you share. Are you also Lami? Okay, your younger sister, so I'm just going to quickly pray with you. Then the case is, what is, what did you come up for? Okay, Lami, all right, I'm just going to quickly pray with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, if, if you're having migraine, you may not need to come out. Just put your hands wherever you're having the pain. Just migraine. Your forehead, I felt that too for you. And I felt the healing for you. Then um, people with 
pain just at the right shoulder. At the right shoulder. You're having a pain there. Just put your hands there. There's no need to come out. Please just put your hand. I'm going to pray with you right now. And the Lord is going to touch and heal you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Will you pick every pain, every migraine. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And every pain on the shoulder. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please let's have all the prayer requests. All the prayer requests. Very quickly. Please can we rise on our feet. inside and outside ushers how many of you are here to drop your request let me see please we need some ushers just let them have it very quickly so that they can just lift it up so that you can drop it we want to pray on the request hallelujah may I request all the servants of God here to just come out as we pray now this is not just a ceremony please listen this is not just a religious ceremony hallelujah God has been so faithful unto us and that this, we're not just doing it because we should do it. God gave us an instruction to do it. And I want you to know that whatever it is that is represented here by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ, miracles will so erupt from this. I'd like you to believe it, please. Believe it. Yes, you can bring them ushers. Let's have it quickly. Hallelujah. Please come, Pastor Jakes, you can come. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, as we pray on this request, please, instrumentalist, I'd like you to play, just, you know, clash the cymbal, give your best. And we're going to pray in the spirit. I'd like everyone to join us as you pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. And then we're going to speak over it and release. I know that there are impossible cases humanly in this request cases that only God can bring liberty to people but I want you to know that there is a God that sits in heaven he created the heavens and the earth in seven days it will not take him too long to change the situations here there are financial situations represented here marital situations um, issues of barrenness and so on and so forth we are going to pray Right, I like everybody to begin to pray in the spirit. Please let's come. Just come in and start to pray. Pray and make contact. Let's pray. 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 let as representatives of the living Christ, let impossible situations give way. I see doors being opened in the vision. I see gates being opened by the Spirit. I see gates being opened by the Spirit. There is 
an eruption of miracles. I see it in the spirit. An eruption of miracles in families, in homes, within Nigeria, outside of Nigeria. By faith, we send these miracles to the north, the south, the east, the west of this country. By the ministry of intercession and by the laying on of hands, we declare impossible situations. Health conditions change. Financial situations change. Supernatural jobs. Marriages. We release it. We release it. Receive it. Receive it. On the internet, receive it. There's power moving everywhere. There's power moving everywhere. The ministering spirits of God taking the responses of this request by the unity of faith. We command a supply of miracles, miracles, miracles. Miracles, 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 in the name of Jesus. Lord, for your people, let there be a release for your people. Let there be a release for your people. Let there be a release for your people. Let there be a release. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Great miracles being released by the Spirit. Father, we pray right now. As the servants of the living God, commissioned by grace, we're praying on these requests. And Lord, we declare that every situation represented here will change for good in the name of Jesus for your loved ones and for your families right now you will receive supernatural calls telling you about the eruption of miracles supernatural miracles death cancellation by the spirit promotions by the spirit children by the spirit supernatural marriages in the name of the Lord Jesus healing of terminal diseases admissions into institutions Lord we agree by faith and we establish it in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah the last thing we are going to do please let me the servants of Christ I'd like us to stand there is going to be a stirring of spiritual gifts we all represent different offices and operation of the spirit. Now I'd like you to believe this is the moment you do not want to miss. Please can we just form a straight line and hold our hands together and lift it up. Inside and outside I'd like you to connect. For apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, evangelists. There will be a supernatural connection of the spirit by faith. This is what the Lord is telling me to do. Hear me, we are going to lift up our voices and stretch our hands towards you. Many of you will encounter levels of power and insight that you have never seen before. You came for miracle service and even among ourselves there will be a transfer of virtue. Take note. Hallelujah. Please let the cymbal not stop. Sir, play the instruments. Can you transpose? Hallelujah. Now go ahead and receive. In the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, let the prophetic flow, Almighty, let 
Let the apostolic flow Almighty. Let the teaching anointing, the office of teachers. Oh, Kapari Eketebaya. Rokho Shotebakaya. Evangelist. Be stand up. Now. 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 Inside and outside. Prophets, arise. I speak to your spirit. Apostles, arise. Arise. Apostles, arise. Pastors, arise. Shepherds of the body, arise. In the name of Jesus, arise. Shepherds of the body, evangelists, receive the anointing. Evangelists, receive the anointing. For creativity, for creativity, for creativity, the spirit of Bezalel, I see purple rain falling, purple rain falling, receive it now, creativity, the spirit of Bezalel, creativity, Come up with witty intentions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to speak over your finances. Everybody. Everybody. We are going to speak. I, I'm glad the ministers are holding. Please believe it. This is an unusual miracle service. God is doing strange things. You've heard the prophecies about next year. 
I didn't tell you I saw the capital of China being affected and devastated greatly. Greatly. Let me tell you the truth. We are now sit here the first recession. We were criticized for it when we said a recession was coming. And we did announce it again that another recession is coming. And I'm saying it again. Another recession is coming. But when there was going to be famine in Egypt, wisdom was given to Joseph. And a strategy was communicated. Hallelujah. The Bible says when men say there is a casting down. He said for seven years you shall save. And during the famine you shall step out in that abundance. I want to pray for your finances. Hear me friends. It's not by your knowledge and calculation. No. Wealth is spiritual. Forget about uh, all of this arrogance of economies that is shaming them. Every man who has truly gotten wealth, whether by God's way or Satan's way, knows that wealth is spiritual. When you see a rich man, you say, this guy has gone to the native doctor. We understand. I want to pray for you. Some of you need to stand in for your loved ones. Because, you know, gone are the days when we pretend that this is not an issue. It has caused wreck and havoc and damages in families. Enough is enough as servants of the Lord. We want to pray for your life. You mustn't believe it. But if you care, the Lord doesn't want you to survive. He wants you to be blessed so that you can advance the kingdom. And here's the scripture the Lord gave me. Let me just read it quickly. I want us to hurry up. Revelation chapter 3. Mm. Verse 8 I know thy works Behold I have set before thee an open door And no man can shut it For I know that thou hast little strength And hast kept my word And hast not denied my name I pray right now satire. I sense an anointing In the name that is above every other name if I be a servant of the living God, then now I pray, let there be a baptism of supernatural, inexplainable wealth. It's an anointing. I release it. Take it now. 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 It's an anointing. Receive it for your finances. Receive it for your finances, for your families. It's an anointing. Receive it. Take it. It's yours. Receive it. It will impart wisdom. It will impart favor. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. There are certain virtues that God has blessed us with as a ministry. And Peter says, such as I have, give I unto you. Hear me with all humility. Any right thinking man seeing the hand of God upon this ministry knows that it's not about us. Anyone who has sense enough, you know that there is a factor and there are spiritual principles. There are certain blessings that God has blessed us with. When God calls a man, there are certain dimensions of graces that are operational. Hallelujah. And I want to pray... We want to declare some of these things upon you. You will be surprised how these things will change your life. Please let there be every sense of unbelief. Kick it out. Are you listening to me? Now is not the time to doubt. God is changing someone here. God has blessed us with a dimension of his presence. His presence. Many of you will begin to step into unusual levels. The Lord told me something some years ago. He says, son, I give you my presence as a gift. My father, I raise a cry. Let the presence, the angel of the Lord's presence that has walked with us, commanding signs, wonders, undeniable manifestations. If God be God, let the angel of the Lord's presence be released towards you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the angel of the Lord's presence and Moses said do not send us from here if your presence goeth not with us he 
say, how shall they know that we are a separated people? The second is favor. The Bible says, hear me. It said that Esther anointed herself with a particular oil for one year. And she walked before King Ahasuerus. And suddenly, a woman who had no human qualification, by the favor of God, the Lord calls it the Esther anointing. The Lord has given us grace. Favor we cannot even explain. Favor we cannot explain. Lord, in the name of Jesus, receive this favor in the name of Jesus. Strange dimension of favor. Favor with God. Favor with man. We release it in the name of Jesus. Let favor follow you from today. Bringing blessings. Bringing victory. Bringing results that you cannot explain. Favor. Favor your academics. Favor your relationship. Favor your business. It's called grace. It's called grace. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number three. The Lord has blessed us with wisdom. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. He said, dear, forget wisdom. He said, and with all thy getting, get understanding. He said, on no hand she shall promote thee. He said, she shall bring a, an ornament of glory upon thy head when thou dost embrace her. He said, does not wisdom cry? By wisdom he founded the earth. And by understanding he said, he established it. Wisdom. 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 My father, I pray that in this October miracle service, let men and women leave this place with an impartation of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 The spirit of wisdom is yours. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. One of the things that God has blessed us, I call it the spirit of Elijah. Supernatural speed and acceleration. Hear me, friends. I want, there is something called speed. The Bible makes us understand that when he, he, he told Ahas, saddle your ass and run, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. But he went back and when he prayed and saw the feast, cloud like a feast of the Bible says, the hand of the Lord came upon him. He gathered his loins and used his bare foot and began to run. And he overtook the chariots of Ahas. The Bible says at a certain time, Jesus told the disciples to use the last boat and go. And they were six hours ahead of him. But when he finished praying, he encountered an anointing. He got up and started walking on the water and was almost overtaking them. Let me tell you something. When the spirit of speed comes upon you, you will pursue and you will overtake as though you never experienced a lot. Now, please, I want you to believe it. Oh, I want you to believe it. There are many people who are in their need of restorations in their lives. And for families, and right now we pray. In the name that is above every other name. At the mention of that name, we sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit. Receive speed. Now. Now. Acceleration. Speed. Speed in marriage. Speed in your job. Acceleration. Speed. 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 You will run. You will run. Speed. Advancement. Acceleration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
One of the things that God has given us is honor. 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 Kingdom honor. The Bible says, because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness, it said, therefore our God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. Lord, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a season to honor your people and to bring them to limelight for the sake of the kingdom. Therefore, I pray right now that everything that has kept you bound such that you cannot come to light, there are families that have been kept bound. Hallelujah. Tonight, the spirit of the Lord is upon us. And with this anointing, I command, let the doors of the prison over families, over finances, let doors be open in the name of Jesus. We call you to a place of honor in the name of Jesus. We call you to a place of influence in the name of Jesus. Receive it for yourself. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it for your family in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Something must show in your life for men to know that the Lord lives. Are you listening to me? Something must show in your life. Something must show. That's why you came for this miracle service. Something must show in your life. We want to rebuke the plague of death. Now, please take it serious. When God gives instructions like this, take it very seriously. Hallelujah. We want to take authority over the plague of death. The Bible says when they asked Balaam to go and curse them, when he went, he found out that the ark was positioned in a particular way. He could not curse them. For he said, the shout of a king is in their midst. I declare in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, I set before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. Right now, we lift up the ban of death over your life and over your family members in the name of Jesus. No more death. No more accidents. No more terminal diseases. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what's killing of Satan but we're agreeing right now that the hedge of protection comes over your life and over your family how many of you know we need the protection of God in Nigeria right now you get up and live peacefully and someone gets up and just causes chaos but we speak upon every one of you for life is a choice and in the name of Jesus as a ministry we choose life and we decree and declare that there is life upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No death. No death. Hallelujah. No death. Lord, we give you praise for the mighty things that you are doing. One last thing I'm going to pray for very quickly. Is what I began to share the opening of the doors. While I prepared for this meeting, the Lord began to tell me to open up closed doors. Now, I know many of you may not understand the power and the relevance of opening up of these doors. But we are going to pray it anyway. Are you listening to me? In Psalm 24, it says, The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. He said, The worlds and all they that dwell therein. So there is no controversy. We can fight over lands, but the earth is the Lord's. Are you listening to me? And he said, For he has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the waters. And then the Bible says, Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. 
As a result, he will receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. And then he said, this is the generation of them that seek thee. Seek thy face, O Jacob. And then there is a saying, and this is where we are coming in. He said, lift up your hands, O ye gates. Friends, there are gates, so are you listening to me? There are gates. And the Bible calls them ancient doors. He said that the king of glory will come in. The gates are not just things. They are people because they spoke back. They said, who is this king of glory? And then there was a response. He said, the Lord, Yahweh, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. And we are going to be raising a cry. And command and say the gates be lifted. And ancient doors be opened. When Jesus was caved in a place. On the third day the Bible says an angel came. And rolled away the stone. And there he came. King of kings. And Lord of lords. I believe by the opening of this door. God is opening us up. We have seen it. We have prophesied it. We have announced it. Now I like us to step into it. The opening of our gates. I don't know about you, but I prayed this. I prayed my life out of this. I said, Lord, this is the season that we step. He told Moses, Tell the people to move forward. Tell them, Go forward. Tell them, The Egyptians that you see today, you see them no more. In one minute, lift up your voice and begin to pray. The gates. Gates of limitation. We challenge gates. We challenge ancient doors. It's time for the church to arise. It's time for the body to arise into our prophetic destiny, into our heritage. church of God step into our prophetic destiny. It's time for us to arise with the glory of our king and step into this system and invade this system with the life, the power, the glory of God. He said thy kingdom come and thy will be done in this realm as it is in the heavens. And so we establish your counsel. It's time for the church to arise. And be lampstands indeed. Even by the anointing of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Those of you who are here inside and outside. The Bible says. Come unto me all ye. That are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Enough of sorrow and frustration tonight the lord is calling you into a relationship the bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart as in the provocation and so the lord is calling right now if you've not made up your mind to stand for jesus to give your hearts to jesus christ this is an opportunity to end your wrestle with the spirit of god and to make a decision or if you've given your heart to the lord but have turned away because of several challenges we welcome you right now. And so I'm inviting you inside and outside. Leave your seat and walk out. Jesus is calling you. It's time for a great relationship. Appreciate them as they come inside and outside. The Lord is calling you. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing. Don't sit down. This is the greatest miracle of all. The Lord is calling you. Leave your seat and come out. God is calling. As you hear his voice, please step out. Harden not your heart. 
It's time for a new relationship. It's time for a new level. The Lord is calling you. Appreciate them. They are coming. This is the greatest miracle. Inside and outside. We take authority over every influence that wants to stop you from being saved. Now is your time. Now is the hour. We welcome you into the glorious family of God. We welcome you. Come as you are. Come as you are. There is no condemnation. Come as you are. It doesn't matter what you have done. Inside and outside, the Lord is calling you. Please come up your space. We appreciate you until you come. Please keep clapping. Let's celebrate this miracle. Let's celebrate this harvest. Let's celebrate this harvest. Many coming into the fold. The Spirit of God is still speaking to you. Inside and outside. I'd like you to come. Run to Him. He's calling you. He's calling you. He's calling you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I sincerely want to express my joy for this bold decision that you have made. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if you are not ashamed of me before men, I will not be ashamed of you before my father. Hallelujah. This is the greatest miracle in this place. A translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. And we salute you. We congratulate you. It's a bold step that will begin a new season in your life. Hallelujah. I'd like you to quickly pray this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, please mean it from your heart. This is not a special number. It's a serious prayer. Hallelujah. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I accept that I'm a sinner. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. I receive eternal life in my spirit and I declare that I'm born again I'm washed by the blood I am free I denounce sin and Satan and I receive authority to be called the child of God from today I'm born again the spirit of God lives in me dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye